am Megan Gella, Head of Women's Wardrobe for San Francisco Ballet. And I'm standing here with a selection of costumes from our production of Romeo and Juliet. I was able to take Romeo and Juliet on tour to Copenhagen. Um, it was a really wonderful tour and uh, the Opera House in Copenhagen was one of the few places that we could actually bring our production because it's large enough for our whole enormous set. It is interesting when you take a ballet on tour because you do have to leave behind rehearsal items because you're practicing up until uh, basically you're getting on that flight. Um, so there are some things that have to stay behind like uh, Juliet's robe. Um, these had to stay and then travel in a suitcase on the way there as well as a lot of the men's boots. Uh, they have to practice in them in order to actually feel like what it's gonna feel when they're on stage. These costumes are 30 years old, uh, which provides its own set of challenges, especially when taking a ballet like this on tour. Uh, we actually had to travel with two whole crates just full of different bins for each character. And within each one, you have all the different fabrics that are used to make these uh, costumes so lush. Being new to the ballet, it was a lot easier to learn who was a Capulet and who was a Montague because all of the Capulets are in red and all the Montagues are in blue. And then, you know, everyone goes into black because they're all in mourning by the end of this ballet. So Romeo and Juliet includes a lot of quick changes. Uh, the most exciting is probably when we're getting everybody ready for the ball. It's men and women. It's every character. So. Um, the, it's funny when the women are changing, especially because they have to come in from very specific places and some of them have to actually carry some scenery off. So we have people changing in rehearsal offices, little cubby holes. Uh, we're basically standing there saying, you can't come this way because I have people changing. It's all hands on deck. Uh, it's very exciting and everybody made it on stage. So it's really fun to see the ladies use the train on their ball gowns. Um, they actually, um, hold it when they come out and they dance with it and then there are times when they let it drop and it is very long behind them and they have to be careful not to trip on each other uh, but when they're getting ready and they're getting changed very quickly you have to help them find this little loop that matches the fabric and is somewhere deep in the train when they are running out the door so when a dancer needs to put on a mask very quickly like in the ballroom scene they just slip it over their head and um, there's foam in there, which helps it fit their face correctly. Um, all of our costumes typically are numbered, and that way the dancers will know, I always wear number six, I definitely need number six. So it helps them keep it straight and know that they have the right fit when they put it on and they only have one second. The easiest way to adjust a men's doublet is to either take it up or let it out at the shoulder. Um, that way you're not changing anything about the design further down the garment and that really comes in handy when you have one dancer dancing the role on a Friday night and somebody else dancing it in a Saturday matinee. Some costume pieces have to be um, taken off or put on on stage by the dancer themselves. So in situations like that we try to make it as easy as possible. Like this costume just has one giant snap right in the middle that she can easily feel herself.